Yeah, I thought I would show some early gameplay on God Eater. I, I have to give you a disclaimer, though. I've never really played anything from this series at all. It's one of those uh, franchises I've known about since the very first one, but for some reason I just, like, never have played it. I haven't even, like, downloaded an ISO of the old one. Like, I, uh, I got my Patreon money for the... I got my Patreon money for the month, and I saw that this was $20, so I just went ahead and picked it up. That's really all that went into it. <laughs> something cheap for the channel while I go through this whole transitional phase where I'm waiting to be with my ne next network. Now, I can't really give a good first impression on this because it's a lot like Tokiden and that a lot of the like base game mechanics are locked behind the story. And uh, I'm only like an hour and a half in. But I am interested in the second one. I don't know how hardcore I'm going to play this one because the second one's only like a month and a half away. But uh, I'm kind of waiting to see how the PC port of the second one is. If the second one is 60 FPS on PC, then I'll probably get it on there. Probably play that one a lot more than this. This will be a battle long remembered. Some of these voices are a little questionable. <laughs> Apparently they like redub the whole game or something like that from the, the old one. So I find that it's pretty weird. They obviously didn't have that much faith in this because it's a twenty dollar base price. Nothing more than a nuisance. Primary target terminated. That's what I like to see. So 
So coming from someone who put about a hundred hours into Tokiden, I like the, the unique mechanics this has, like the hair dashes and stuff like that. Really fun so far. But I don't know, the release schedule for this seems like they didn't really put much uh, faith in this version. <laughs> seems to be used as more of a pre-order incentive than an actual game. The enemy has one foot already in the ground. There we go. Definitely getting a little better at this game. I don't really have much uh, customization unlocked yet. I think you're ready. Hey, that was an easy victory, huh? This is definitely going to be the new uh, bus and laundromat game for me. <laughs> <laughs> Them's the rules. That's what Toki to Den was for me. Hard. I played the Let shit out of that game when I was nine. Oh, oh. That's kind of what one. I was looking for. I paid like two bucks for this with, uh, you know, the guys, the Patreon money that you guys sent me. So I'm gonna try to get as far in this as I can within the next month because I believe the uh, the next one comes out on August 30th on PC. And I don't know. Bandai Namco ports are usually pretty good for the most part. They've had a couple questionable ones, but for the most part, their stuff's pretty high quality. So I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, if I find out that it has 60 FPS on PC, then I'll get it there. Otherwise, I might just get it on Vita again. I don't know if there's any kind of save transfer in this, so I'm not sure. Some money, I don't so want to meet your chick. expectations. I want to smash right through them. No, well, cool. There's some uh, newbie footage for you. I will have more uh, once I unlock some more customization and decide if I want to take this to uh, a high level. It looks like the customization is really cool, so maybe I can make like a badass short blade or scythe build and go from there. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, looks like I'm almost done with the transitional phase for the channel in terms of getting with the new network and stuff, so I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.